Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me for a jewelry jar. Five bags. I think this is, I think we're down to three. This is one of the three that we have left to open. So I thank you so much for being here. I'm also going to show you a wonderful gift that I got from a subscriber. Absolutely beautiful. I haven't opened it yet, but I did open the box. And lots of pretty things, I'm sure, from what I've seen so far. So I do thank you for being here. I um, am going to show you also the rings that I'm wearing because people always ask me to do so. So I'll do that. This is the one I showed you last time from Vanessa. And now that I look at it, Vanessa, I think the stone in the center, I keep changing. <laughs> but I think the stone in the center is starting to look like a tanzanite. It's got a lot of purple, more than blue. Last time I thought it might be a sapphire. I still think blue and pretty. I don't know. They're just so pretty. Amazing pieces. This is definitely an amethyst, sterling silver, Mexican design. This is one I just found. I think they're really nice CZs. I haven't tested them yet. I'm waiting for a, a new diamond tester. Mine pooped out on me. So I got to test those, but I think they're CZs. All right, so that's the ring. Let me show you quickly the uh, the wonderful gift that I got from a mutual subscriber, and that is Lena. She has a channel here, Lena Latina's shop, I think, or jewelry shop. She's fabulous. You'll see see her on the chat i will her channel just so you can check her out because she's wonderful of course this is not a sponsored video if it was it would say so in the title or the description rather because uh, youtube specifies that we do that when we do have a sponsored video so let's get started with that wonderful gift for miss lena isn't she sweet be sure and hit that thumb rings have been very choppy lately and i unplugged one of my boosters so i'm hoping it, it straightens itself out Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? Happy birthday. This is a, a birthday gift. And she says, thank you for all the joy you give. I wish you good fortune, love, health, always. Wishing you wonderful birthday wishes. God bless you forever. Such a beautiful heart. Isn't she darling to do that? Oh my gosh, and such a sweet card too. Lena, I can't tell you. If you had just sent this card, I would be so elated. That is just so, so sweet of you to think of me. I really, really do appreciate it. All right, guys, so as I said at this channel, we mostly talk about reselling, jewelry, thrifting, all of that good stuff. So if you like to do that, be sure and hit the subscribe button. It's over here on the right. And uh, be sure and generate that bell, activate that bell for all videos. And then you'll see all the ones I put up, whether they're recorded or live like this one. Uh, let me say hello to a couple of people. Hi, Seven Bells and Deborah and Lady Wenchy. Thank you guys for joining me. I so so appreciate you being here. I see Sue is here as well as Maria and Becky and Miss Castro and Sanja. Thank you, ladies. Elizabeth as well. Oh, I'm starting to love this already. Look at those pretty colors. It's a little stretchy. How pretty. I actually put some beaded bracelets on the other day, too. I found this one. I don't know if I showed it to you. I think I did. It came out one of the bags. And they were purple amethyst and little colored pearls. So I'll put that on. Thank you. That's gorgeous, Miss Lena. And Miss Lena has beautiful jewelry. I did purchase uh, amethyst, not amethyst, amber and 10 karat gold necklace from her that I am over the moon about. Oh my gosh, look at this gorgeous damascene. I hope you guys are getting a good look at this. I'm going to bring my lights a little closer. I hope they're coming in right because... Sometimes it's dark. It's so crazy. It's the middle of the day here, and sometimes I feel like my camera and lighting is not doing the jewelry justice. That is weighty as well. And look at that beautiful design. Very interesting. It's also marked with something in the back. <gasps> look, it's got a trombone closure. That's the one where you open and close like this, like a trombone. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I love that. That's gorgeous. I'm going to put this up so I don't drop anything. And here's another little package here. I love that one. I've never seen one like that. I see a lot with the um, dancers and things. But that one's different. That one's really pretty. I got a little tape here. Let's see if I can cut that a little bit. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up, guys. I really do appreciate that. By the way, I am going to be in an auction tonight. I'm going to link that, link that channel as well. 
8 p.m. Eastern Time, so that would be 7 Central. I'm going to be on T's channel. I talked to you about it before. I will have some jewelry. I will probably have a crafter lot or a choice so other people can buy if they want. And I will have some vintage jewelry. I cannot wait to show you all the beautiful Monet pieces that I've put together for that lot. And of course, I'm going to have other things because, you know, there's a lot of eBay sellers on there. Please join me over there. I'll link that channel. It is Auctions for You. And the wonderful, charming lady that hosts it is T, Teresa. With your heart in your hands, you tell that I love hands. Look at all the hands I have. I have hands everywhere because I love them. Does it give me that beautiful green hand? I absolutely love them. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful, Lena. Look at that. The little copper brooch. Oh, I adore it. I love that. Thank you so, so much. I am, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Show your support and support Miss uh, T's channel. No one's expected to buy anything, but please show up over there and say, hey, look at the little egg shaped trinket box is that the cutest thing ever oh my god it's a shell oh i adore it thank you for that information once you appreciate that that is darling so so pretty okay i need to put this in a secure place i have uh you know those cabinets that i bought and i haven't had a I don't know. Well, it's in the in my bathroom. That's ceramic floor, and I dropped jade earrings, and they cracked right in half. So I'm very careful about what I put in that jewelry box now. It was such a shame. <gasps> Look at this, guys! Pearls too. Beautiful, genuine pearls. Oh, what a darling bracelet, Miss Lena. You are too generous. Thank you so so much. And it's in that beautiful kind of a caramel or mocha color and they're dangly and then they have little bars. Those are beautiful and I adore pearls. Absolutely love them. That is darling. How sweet. How sweet. Let me put some of these in the little pouch as I take them out here for you to see. Thank you again for joining me guys. I'm trying to run to the post office today again and get back in time for that auction i don't want to hold anything up oh a bunch of little ones these are so cute my daughter was my daughter was raiding one of my jewelry boxes she's like i love the single earrings too so she was these look like they're matched some of them are never did show up in the other bags and she's like i'm taking it it's so pretty so yeah a lot of look at this a little smoothie or something this one has the match thank you so much those are darling and as soon as my granddaughter gets some um, pierced ears you know where they're going <laughs> miss makeup zombie sent she sent her a little jewelry bag for kids and uh she just hooked him on the top of her ears <laughs> they had that little shepherd's hook oh my gosh and here's another really pretty one let me put this one earring away and then we'll get to that Chicago jar. Oh, this is another one with genuine pearls. And this one has the Tahitian color. Oh, wow. That is so nice. Yeah, I'm really starting to uh, switch up my bracelets a bit. I get a little bored with the same ones. I hadn't worn my charm bracelet in a while. So that's why I'm wearing that now. But uh, I'm always switching up. Especially the beaded natural stones that we find so much of lately. Oh, wow, this is darling. Look at this, guys. This is all bows, little bows on a long chain with stations all throughout. That is so cute. Look at that. It's got a tag. I don't know where it's from. Looks like a Lucky brand, but maybe not. A lot of people, I think this is Kate Spade. I don't know. I can't tell. Look at my lips so you can know. And it looks like her signature if it's not. It is indeed a Kate Spade. Kate Spade, New York. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I may let my sister have this one, Miss Lena, because uh, she works in the glamour biz and this would be her, and she has to wear black and she loves Kate Spade. So she would adore this. Thank you so much. Look at that. Is that not darling? 
She has to wear black, so she has a big collection of black jewelry. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Of course, I'll probably wear it once or twice before I give it to her. That is so cute. Amazing. Thank you again, guys, for hitting that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Plus, if you can, share this video over on your Facebook with your family and friends. If they like jewelry and like YouTube, all you have to do is copy the link where it says share in the description boxes area and uh, take it over there. Oh my gosh, look at this little vintage box, like for matches with a striker. How cool is that? I'm almost afraid to open it, but isn't that a great place to put little earrings or something? This is darling. I like to carry matches in my purse, too. You just never know when you need one. My mother carries matches, too. She doesn't smoke. She hasn't smoked probably in 40 years. But she still carries matches in her purse. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you guys for hitting that thumbs up. I do appreciate it. But yes. And thanks for the reminder. If I don't say hello right off, guys, it's because I'm trying to get through the bags and the beautiful gifts and not hold you up for too much time. But you don't know how much I appreciate you being here. Oh, these are pretty. Little post earrings. And then these red ones are gorgeous. Uh oh, I dropped one. There it is. Okay. Put those in that little box down there that I have. Look at these drops in red. Are those not beautiful? Oh my gosh. So many beautiful earrings. That is so sweet of you. Amazing. And just, oh my gosh, you just never get tired of switching earrings, right? I don't. I think you make getting dressed so much fun. All right, this says crafted by Solvar. And this is Ireland Crafted Solvar. And it's, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I'm sure it's sterling. It looks like it has some marks on there. The claw doll, that is darling. It's very weighty. I love that. Thank you so much. Look how detailed that is, too. That is beautiful. Tara. Ireland. All the way from Ireland, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, Miss Lena, you were so kind. That was so sweet of you. You did not have to do that. Oh, look at these beautiful pouches. There's more, guys. Three more pouches for Miss Lena. Lena Latina's shop. She's in your chats. You know her. Be sure and subscribe. <clears throat> I didn't even know she had a channel until just recently. And then I went to her auction. I think she was on Patsy Craftsy's channel. That's where I saw her. Excuse me. <coughs> that's where I saw her. And um, then I discovered she had a channel. And that's where I bought that gorgeous amber necklace. And then I forgot this Friday. I don't know what I was busy with, but I will be there this Friday. Oh, wow. She has that auction every Friday, too. This is weighty and beautiful. Look at that necklace, guys, in blue. That is so different, so unique to have this in blue. You always see black and other colors, but that gorgeous blue, man, that's beautiful. And here is another gorgeous piece, I'm sure. This is, oh, that's gorgeous. That looks like it may not be authentic. I don't know, but it sure looks like uh, spiny, doesn't it? Spiny oyster, the color of it. I think it may just be. It looks like it is. It doesn't feel like resin, but you never know what it is. It doesn't matter, though. It's amazing, the color. Sandy was just showing me some beautiful work she did with Spiny Oyster. And when I say Sandy, I mean just Sandy. She also has a channel. She is a metalsmith and creates jewelry and then has an auction as well here on YouTube. I've mentioned all of so, I mean, I've, you've seen some of her work before. Look at these, the inlaid bangles. Oh, wow. In Mother of Pearl. How beautiful. And then in blue Mother of Pearl. 
and in silver on the inside, probably stainless. I've seen these a lot with the brass. Isn't that gorgeous in this color combination? I love it. It just kind of makes you feel cool. Like you just turned on a fan. Those colors are so beautiful and amazing. Oh my gosh. Well, that is my wonderful birthday gift from Miss Lena. Thank you so much, Miss Lena. Like I said, she has wonderful taste in jewelry, you can see. So please go check out her channel. And no, she does not pay me for this. I just, you know, people are so catty and think, oh, you sponsored or whatnot. No, if, if, if something's sponsored, guys, it will say so in my description box. This is just a thoughtful gift she sent, and I am just so grateful. And I opened the other one from Miss Pamela the other day. For the same reason, because like I said, just opening that card would have been enough. That was so thoughtful of you, Miss Lena. Thank you. Now to the jewelry jar that I got from my son. He bought me five bags in Chicago, from Chicago. Gave them to me when I was there, and I just can't wait to see what's in it. This one was $14. He paid $14.51. I think the most expensive one he picked up was 20 And this looks like it might be the necklace lock. Well, this is a bracelet. And it looks like a vintage one. Look at that huge oh, jump ring. Oversized pearls as well. Very nice. Let me bring my little basket over here where I can put these. And look at this. This almost looks like, uh, it feels like, it, and it sure needs to be cleaned. It feels like um, that volcanic rock. That's what it feels like. But it could just be ceramic. And they are rosettes. Very cool. All right. I don't want to tangle them up. Here's one that's broken. So this is going to go in a B block. Oh, it was so pretty too. Look at the colors. Lavender and green. And it has the findings there. So obviously it was a three strand necklace in the prettiest lavender and green. Those are so pretty. But there is one that's so I'm gonna put that in the bead lot. I think someone could do some wonderful work with that. Bead lot crafter lot. That's where that will go. That is awesome. And then here is something very interesting. Some kind of bead work. It looks vintage too. Green and white. It feels interesting, guys, like glass. The big ones do. They feel like milk glass. I believe these may be milk glass. I'm going to clean them up because they do need it. But I think that's what they are. Let me say hi to a couple of people that popped in. Hi, Miss Patty Feb. How are you? I haven't seen you in so long. I hope you're doing well. We sure do miss your videos, too. Patricia, how are you? Jen, how are you, Miss Bennett? Thank you guys again for being here. I do appreciate it. And Rosemary Ramirez. All right, that is a nice one. Here's another similar one with some beadwork. Oh my goodness, lots of strands on this one. And you can tell these are so aged. Look at that. But that is so pretty. And it's also broken. But oh my goodness, if somebody could repair that. Is that not gorgeous? Look at the little daisy pattern they did on that. And that is, I think, seven strands. And all it needs is an attachment right here with a bead. I don't know. I don't know how to make how to repair it, but I'm just saying. Because that's what this one has, a little bead. And then you could add the, um, the clasp. That's so pretty. Here are rhinestones. Vintage rhinestones. Don't we love the vintage variety? Oh, wow. Look at that. Very nice. That's pretty. That's very nice. I don't see any dead ones. It does have a box clasp as well. Nice and weighty too. There is one little dead one there. And by dead I mean they get a little bit darker than the others with the age. But that's beautiful. That's a nice piece. Oh, look at this. This is enameled. Nice bracelet box class as well I don't see a maker let me open it up though that's so nice 
Again, guys, remember this these bags are only $14. Oh, there is a maker. Let's see what it says. They're all, I th like I said, the mo okay, it's BSK. That's a great brand. BSK, just the initials BSK on there. Hope you can see that right there. That's a great brand for vintage jewelry, and all it needs is a cleaning. It's in great condition, honestly. Beautiful work on it. That's very nice. I may add that to my vintage lot for tonight because I am going to do um, a little bit of jewelry over at T's channel auctions for you. And I want it to make it kind of unique and um, bring some something you don't see at all the auctions, which is vintage jewelry. And a complete lot at that. <laughs> this is broken, guys, but this is going to be repaired because this is beautiful. These are glass. And there is a link that needs to be linked up there, right there. Or it may just need the, I guess, the receptive part, right? But these are gorgeous. This is like a grapefruit color, and they are glass. And look at these beads. They're fluted. I don't think they're silver. It may be a brass or copper base or some kind of base metal. And look at the chain. I adore this type of chain. Do you guys know what that chain is called? If you do, leave it in the comments. If you're watching later, come back and leave a comment. I love this. This is beautiful. This is truly the color of grapefruit. Very nice. Okay, here is another necklace. I do believe there's a lot of necklaces in here. Oh, it's got the initial C. With a fleur-de-lis here on the bail. As I said before, when I open some Chicago jars, they tend to do a lot of themes. You'll open jars with mostly uh, brooches, and then others will have necklaces. And this appears to be the necklace one. This is beautiful. And look at that gorgeous bale. That's a C for sure, right? Definitely. Very nice. C for Kathy or Cecilia. Any C's out there? This is cute. I think it may have been, I think it may have been part of another necklace. It seems a little short, but it's a nice weighty chain. That'll probably go in the crafter lot because chains are always going into my crafter lots. Should be a T, wouldn't it be perfect? <laughs> I have gotten some T's though. I got a T the other day, but I think it was a um, Christmas ornament. Look at this, part of a rosary, guys. Wow, it is so old. And it's missing the crucifix. But I'm going to clean it up and see what it says on that heart. That's beautiful. I almost think it's copper, but I can't tell. And look at the fluted beads on these. That's an interesting rosary. Or maybe the crucifix is in here. You never know. Here's another broken one. Pretty beads on this one, too, though. I'm going to put this in a bead lot as well. Because these are very, very vintage. And I am sure someone can do something fabulous with that. For sure. And now pink, pink, pink. Don't we love pink? I do. <laughs> this is acrylic. It is sweet. It's got the hook. It's got a mark on it. Let's see what it says. It's so cute. It says West Germany. Yeah, it says West Germany. It's got a W and then Germany. And it's nice. I love getting the Germany and the uh, Japan stuff. It's always so quaint. Don't you think? Look at that. Hi, Cassandra. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Miss Perla, how are you? Isn't that cute? It's acrylic, but it's just so darling. And these really do sparkle when you get them shined up. Nice and clean. A little Dawn bath will do it wonders. Oh, wow. Look at her. Is she traveling, riding a bike? I can't tell. And I think she's a birthstone angel. Looks like a November stone there. I just read that November can also be citrine, not just topaz. It's a bracelet. Oh my gosh. I love these oversized charms. One charm bracelets, don't you? 
but I want to know what she's carrying. What is that? A suitcase? That is so cute. A purse? I can't quite tell. Oh, wow. So cute. No mark on it that I see. Very cool. Here's some very old pearls. This is, this is what I tell you about these stores. They carry a lot of old vintage items. This one has lost its luster. If anything, I'll put it in a craft lot because maybe someone can use the at least the clasps on that. So that was pretty worn. Okay, here's a purple one. Another vintage hook on that. I love this. It is glass, guys. Glass faux pearls, lavender. This was like Sunday jewelry, guys. Your Sunday best, as they used to say, and they used to do, and we should do again one day soon, I hope. Look how pretty. Yeah, these are glass. Very nice. That color is so vintage as well, isn't it? Love that. More rhinestone necklaces, vintage variety. Looks like they're all there. Very nice piece. Yeah, that's nice. Pretty necklace. Here's one of the beads from the broken one. And is this a rosary or a necklace? This is a rosary. Interesting rosary. It's got a heart. Very pretty. These are acrylic beads, not glass. That's a nice one. And look at the beautiful crucifix. And it's not even a crucifix, just a cross. That is really, really nice. And it's got the little heart there. Hey T, how are you? I was just telling everyone I'm going to be on your channel in a little while. So I will link the channel here. And that is T there, guys. It's options for you, I believe. So you can subscribe to her channel as well. I'll do it now. And if you want to bid on anything, you're going to have to register with her. Just basically send her your information but just go over there and support the channel it'd be a lot of fun to see y'all there and i will have much more than just jewelry but i will have jewelry <laughs> thanks for being here too i appreciate it hi miss Catherine. okay this is an interesting one it's a i think someone just made a bracelet out of this because it's just a chain so we'll put that in a crafter lot. This is a very heavy chain. What does that say? I've never seen that mark before. And that's the front. It says celebrity. I think they sold on... Um, it's got a piece of wood in there, guys. I think they did parties, right? I don't remember if they did. I, that might have been before my time. I don't know. I just don't remember that. Or I just didn't attend enough parties. Here's a modern looking piece, kind of 60s looking, but it looks like something was missing there. It's got something dangling and it looks like it's missing. Very weighty though. It almost feels like a fishing sinker or whatever it's called. Wow. Here's a bracelet. This one's marked as well. That beautiful white jewelry. I love that. Let's see what this one says. This is Napier. Again, I can feel the dirt on these. Guys, was the stream okay? It might be better to unplug that thing. I I had the other booster. I had two boosters, and one of them's red, and I unplugged that one. So I'm hoping it's okay. I don't know if you let me know or not, so let me go back and see. Hi, Miss Linda. How are you, Mary? Okay, this is another good one. Because I want to make sure it's okay before I go on that auction tonight. Hi, Thelma and everyone. Thank you, Miss Verna. How are you? Another vintage piece, guys. This is another beautiful 50s pink. 
These pinks and blues are so reminiscent of the 50s and 60s, I think. And I think actually these are probably more 60s. They're so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that darling? Oh, pearls. These are acrylic. The crystals are not glass, but they're beautiful. It's a very nice look, too. It's like a blush. Beautiful blush color on that. And this is kind of a modern piece here. I think I've seen this one before. And it does need a repair here. Kind of a statement piece. Needs to be put together. But that is not too much of a repair job unless it lost. I don't know. We'll have to check it and see. Let me see what Miss T is saying. Do you remember a few weeks ago you found the gold tone pair of pants? Gold tone pair of pants by JJ. I own this shirt. I've had so many years. Pair of pants by JJ. You own the shirt. I did? That's crazy. Awesome. I Oh, here's the rest of the rosary, y'all. Awesome. I can fix that. I would love to fix and clean up that old rosary. That is so pretty. This is nice. This is really pretty. This has all the colors of pearls. How cool. A pin by JJ. Oh, the pair of pants. That crazy. You do? That's insane. That is so funny. And someone asked me about it, but I don't think I've sold it. Yeah, they reminded me of Elvis. Now I know what you're talking about by JJ. That is so funny. What Did you actually buy it, Miss T? Or did, did you find it in, in a garage sale or something? It is so cute, though. I really like that brooch. Look at this. This is darling. This is like three colors of faux pearl there. I like this a lot. That is really cool. Very nice. That's so funny. Yeah, sometimes I find the same thing two, three times. It's so crazy. Oh, of course, we get shells. We always get shells. And here's another little pearl very vintage it looks like it lost a knot and a pearl these are actually very weighty guys they feel like they were good quality pearls at one time and the luster is still there yes you were telling me you had one too and it's so cute so different i just found another jj brooch that i thought was very unique and i had never seen oh it was that soldier that um, nutcracker that I found just the other day. I had noticed that that one was JJ as well. And it's super pretty. Okay, we have a little tangle, y'all. So let's see what's going on here. We have a key. And some black beads. And something else. Okay. So with these multi layered 60s gems that we're finding here today what are they called I, i'm gonna have to look it up in my antique jewelry book <laughs> my vintage jewelry book because i'm really stumped i don't know what you would call them and they're so common they were so common and a lot of people still wear them and they look good you know as long as you don't do a costume where everything is vintage looking it, you can carry it off sorry about that so that's really pretty. This is a yellow one here. I like that one a lot. Okay. I don't know what they're called, though. So interesting. Here's a um, faux leather. I guess it could be a choker or a wraparound bracelet. Could do both with these, actually. And then here are some Mardi Gras style beads. No, they have, uh, I thought they had the, like the glue type, but they actually have little seed beads in them. So I'll probably put that in a bead lot. Here are some faux puka shells. They feel like plastic. 
And another beautiful 50s pink <laughs> multi-layered necklace. Look at this one. This one's beautiful and good condition too. Look at that one. That's beautiful. My little, uh, my little area is already getting so dirty. It doesn't take long for these bags to leave debris at all. Oh, this is cute, 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 cute. Look at that one. Also kind of a blush, but lots of luster on this one. Very cool. More, oh, I showed you those pearls. Those are the pearls I just showed you. Thank you for all that information. Once you appreciate it, I will be reading these uh, comments later. I can't read them all now because I'm trying to get through the bag. And these tangles always hold us up, don't they? Okay, we got double keys here. This, this one's so cute. This is a gold key, a silver key, both skeleton keys. Someone put them there because, look, they used a little copper ring there. But it's cute, and that's a nice chain. I have to double look. Check that um, chain. See, it's not sterling. It's pretty nice. Okay, this was very cute. Did I look like a little horn? See that? Several little horns there. Look at that. This is so nice. Lightweight, too, and the little turquoise beads. Again, this was only a $14 bag, and it was actually a gift for my son. One of the five bags he bought me in Chicago. Love it, love it, love it. Here's a rose, kind of rosary bead design on this one. Little necklace also. Carved rose there. And I think this is glass, a necklace with a barrel clasp green and then we have broken beads falling out some broken beads teeny tiny ones but here's a very nice one most of this stuff was intact really there was a few broken things but they were so interesting they'll go in my crafter lots i may have a huge crafter lot of auctions for you tonight i really want to go fill up a 20 dollar flat rate and just let it roll at 20 something to start and see if you guys are not interested in taking some of these beautiful crafter pieces. This is cool. I like it, black and white. Well, black and clear and plastic acrylic there. That's nice. What is this? Oh, I'm not gonna pull that out, it's way at the bottom. Okay, this is the one that was broken. That's <laughs> shedding everywhere. So I'm gonna wrap that up it looks like caviar, doesn't it? I'll wrap that one up in a bag right now before it makes more of a mess here. And then I'll gather up the rest of them and put it in there. I have a little price tag. Is this another? Oh, I thought it was a rosary too. It's a little yellow stone necklace. Very nice. And then uh, another vintage necklace. These pearls are not that bad. It does need repair on the clasp, but someone might like those pearls. So that'll go in a crafter lot too. These are genuine shells. Not puka, but very nice in purple. Very nice. Lots of pearls in here, y'all, for sure. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. Okay, the clasp is here. Then they did a knot, and then it makes this gorgeous little tassel that is graduated. And I guess if you wanted to, you could just drape it as well. You know how they do them like scarves now? Oh, that is so cute. It's a modern piece. Made wonderfully. Feels good. Feels heavy. And so that's how you would wear it. That is so cool. You wear it in a little knot, and then you'd have a tassel instead of, you know how sometimes you can wear your long pearls with just a, the closed end, but this one would have a, a little tassel. I love that. That is too cute. All right, let's see what else is here. More tangles, of course. Of course. And then you always pick it up wrong, Thelma. I know there's a way for you to do it better. Why don't you do it? I haven't learned it, I guess. 
Is this the one? No, here's another pearl. Vintage. It's also messed up on the clasp. Graduated. These just need a cleaning. These have not lost any of their finish or their luster on it. This one is broken. This one was probably a bracelet. Look at that lovely clasp, though. And people do like to use those on their vintage pieces when they repair. There are people, guys, I mean, it is a cottage industry to repair these items. It really is. Because there are collectors out there who really want, you know, Haskells and vintage Monet's and Napier and all of that. And they will hunt to find the pieces that will help bring it back to life. This is interesting. Little rings on a satin cord and that is from Express. And here's a nice one. Little gold tone blue on a black cord. Oh by the way in the bag we opened in Chicago that I did live from over there that week I was there and I showed you all the earrings. The earrings were indeed genuine. Um, ivory and 14 karat and I already actually these are not 14 karat gold but the the stem or whatever and all of that wire is 14 karat gold of course you cannot sell ivory uh, justifiably so totally disagree with uh, all that that entails but i just thought i'd give you an update because i just opened that bag again because someone inquired about something they saw so i looked through that bag again i hadn't sorted it out yet but um, yeah those are definitely from the 70s they were very common to find those at the malls and stuff. This is a nice earring. I hope I find the other one in here. It's a little chandelier style in black. Isn't that pretty? It's not too, too big, but it's very nice. Not too long. This, okay, that stuck to the magnets. It's a little gold chain and it's broken. That was in there too. This is, oh, there, here's the other earring. Wonderful. So we did get a match. That's always nice. Here's a little silver disc, silver tone. Okay. Drawstring, who is this? Little vintage, little vintage uh, images of children on here. Right? Or are they saints? I think they're saints. Oh, they are. Yes. All right. So we have the Blessed Mother there. I think baby Jesus. That is nice. I think this is like a scapula. I think that's what that is. I love that. Okay. Fabulous. Got that. And then more per No. Yeah. Another set of pearls. Look at that clasp. That is sweet. Just to be able to save this little class would be nice. And I think it says patent or something back here. Let's see. It's old too, guys. It's Japan. Yeah, that's what it says, Japan. Let me see. Thelma. Chicago jewelry bags are good prices. <laughs> Could develop a side business. Oh, if he wasn't so busy. He's raising two children. They are raising two small ones. That's why I don't bug him to go get me more, but uh, he managed to go that time. And so that was so sweet of them. They bought me five. Oh, these are weighty, guys. They are nicely made. They actually just need to be restrung, honestly, because the string is very weak, but they are not even faded. And isn't that a lovely clasp? Yes, if only he wasn't so busy. <laughs> But luckily, they also like to go. But right now, with the pandemic, it's not something that they want to do, I'm sure. But um, they do love thrifting, too. They, they go for everything. Books, you know, whatever they find. He, um, hey, he was raised by me, right? <laughs> We've always loved thrifting. I took them early, and they used to hate it, but he'd always find something. He'd always find toys, and then he got to college, and he'd buy books there and everything. Look at that. It's a little twisted, but uh, if we could iron this out, it's an interesting necklace. It really is. Here is a, I think, stretch. No, not a, what is this? Could it have been? I think they didn't finish it, guys, and it is glass. 
and it's just waiting for a clasp. Very pretty with a little peach crystal there. That'll go in my bead lot too. That's a nice addition to the bead lot. And then uh, I think someone was going to do something with those shells. There's quite a few bracelets. They're all bracelet size, like five of them. Yeah, that's what these are. So, and what a pretty color. Look at that fuchsia. Eight lot edition as well. And then this one is the necklace. Glass pearls. They feel like glass. So we got some extra DNA there, but that's expected. A little hair. But that's pretty. Very long necklace with silver beads. Well, pearlized beads. There's some caps. Black as well. Very nice. I like this too. And then a gold chain. Very pretty. A little bit of wear on it, but this looks like it was probably a Monet or something. But I'll put that in the crafter lots because people have asked me to include chains in their crafter lots. So that's what I'm doing with a lot of that right now. Oh, look, here was a vintage earring. I don't see the, the mate, though. And I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I know it's rushed a little bit, but I need to get to the post office. I need to come back, clean up a little bit, and get ready for that auction over at T's channel at auctions for you you saw her in the chat you i'm sure have seen her wonderful auctions i thought i would take the time to auction a few things that um, i have in my inventory because i sell everywhere from macari to amazon to ebay and um, people are really looking for reseller items and that's what i'm going to do mostly lots and i will have jewelry i hope you go over there and check it out it starts at 8 p.m eastern again that's auctions for you and she was in the channel but i will link it thanks again guys hit that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks, thanks so much.